This is my first project. I really enjoyed it. I learned a few little tricks there with the lighting, and it's good to see it, like, the progress. One, two, three. That's better. Yeah, I like that one. It was a bit hard. At the start, I felt like I was bossing everybody around, but by the end, I felt a bit more comfortable, I guess. So I felt out of place, just, you know, saying, stand here, stand there. But they, yeah, they were good, they listened. What are? You know, all that stuff's important, all the little details that you don't worry about in a normal, like, camera photo. And then the more details after, when you've got to edit. But then the picture comes out totally different to the one that you took. It was exciting. After learning a bit more and working with the cameras and lighting a bit more, the second one was a bit easier. When my nana's mother passed away, the pastor of the church gave her this show and just said, you know, whenever you think about her, think about that show. So she holds it, you know, close to her. Lucky she gave me, trusted me with it. <laughs> She's gonna put it on her grave one day. Yeah. So Juno in the background makes the picture, I think, because that's, this is where we're from, to have that memory. And it's really good because it's on our community, I guess, homeland. Even just moving away for a little bit, you still come home, but it still draws you back. If the oil rig did happen and something bad happened, and we'd probably be forced to move. And I just don't know where else we could go. <laughs> this is all I've ever known. My mother, her mother. Without connection, I guess you feel lost. No place of belonging. Thank you.